Hey, what's up? It's Alex. Today we're going to be looking at the word choices and expressions that Selena Gomez uses in an interview. Let's take a look. Hi. Hope you're ready for the 73 questions interview. Not before we put on some intro music. Great, cue it up. Titles? Titles. Flip it around. Flip it around. She says, cue it up, and that means turn on the music. And it comes from the old days where you'd have radio stations where one song would be playing and another song would be waiting. You'd cue it up, meaning you would switch over to the next song without any break in the music. Quick question, how would you say this? It's not for an hour, it's for an hour. Do you hear the difference? There's actually a rule here. In rapid speech, we de-stress for and reduce the vowel to just fur. Not for an hour, but for an hour. For an hour. So if you want to learn the American English accent, if you want to master these rules and patterns in a systematic way so that you can be confident in your own speech, you can join my American English accent training program on Patreon. Each week, step by step, I'll teach you new rules and how to apply them to real life English situations and then give you lots of practice. I'm confident that your English speaking and listening will improve significantly by the end of the course. Now, I've put the link in the description, so I'll see you there. But first, let's get back to our video. What did you find yourself doing a lot these days? Playing heads up. What's your current obsession? Heads up. Heads up. This is one of those party apps where you have a word on your phone and you put it here and other people try to guess what the word is. She's obsessed with it. it means she's playing it a lot these days. Can you make any prediction about anything exactly one year from now? I think I'll be doing a lot of traveling. Besides doing adventurous interviews like this, what do you do on your days off? What do you do on your days off? It's just a way to say, what do you do in your free time when you're not working? A day off is a day when you don't have to do any work. Besides doing adventurous interviews like this, what do you do on your days off? Hang out with my friends. Hang out with my friends. What do you do on your days off? I hang out with my friends. That's a very typical answer, and it just means, of course, spend time with my friends. Do you want to go outside? Love to. Do you want to go outside? Now, we would always say, go outside here. We wouldn't say, go out or go outdoors. Those are correct grammatically, but they sound a little bit weird. If you're inviting somebody to go outside to the yard, then we would always say, go outside. Do you want to go outside? Love to. Hang on, let me grab something real quick. Okay. She says, hang on, let me grab something real quick. Hang on. Another way to say that would be hold on. Both are totally fine. There's not really any difference. It's just her own style to say hang on instead of hold on. And then at the end of that sentence, she says, let me grab something real quick. Real quick is really just a way to say that what you're doing won't take long. Let me get some water real quick. Let me first do something quickly, and then we can keep going with the rest of what we were going to do. Selena, how would you describe yourself in three words? Loyal, kind, giving. How would you describe yourself in three words? This is something that might come up in a job interview or when you're meeting new people as part of a group project. And it's good to avoid saying physical things. So you wouldn't really describe yourself as tall because everyone probably knows you're tall. Instead, like Selena says, you can say you're loyal, kind, giving. What's a pet peeve that you have? People who are rude. What's a pet peeve that you have? A pet peeve is something that annoys you even though you know it's not a serious problem. And so Selena says, people that are rude. Of course, somebody being rude isn't a really serious problem, but it annoys her, and so she calls it her pet peeve. Sometimes people say that a pet peeve is not cleaning up a mess that you make, or playing on your phone when you're talking to somebody. Just something that bothers you, even if it's not a serious problem. What scares you the most? Losing someone I love. What makes you the angriest? People who act entitled. Ugh. If you act entitled, it means that you think you deserve things, you think you should get anything you want, even if you didn't do any work for it, even if you don't really deserve it. For example, someone who acts entitled might ask their friends to constantly do things for them, drive them somewhere, give them money, this and that. That's what entitled means, and that kind of behavior 
really makes Selena angry.